When I visited Athens in April 2024, I got the chance to go to the Panathinaik Stadium. Now, this stadium is very, very significant uh, in the history of the Olympic Games, as it was the site of the first modern Olympic Games in uh, 1896. And it also remains the starting point of the Olympic flame torch relay. Uh, it's in made entirely out of white marble and it's a really, really nice spectacle. Uh, the day I went was actually a national holiday in Greece. So there was a parade taking place on the streets of Athens. So I think that's why um, I was quite lucky to come here and it was quite quiet. There's not many people around. It's very steep. So from an accessibility point of view, bear that in mind if you have um, accessibility requirements. But what was lovely about it being so quiet was that I could go all around the stadium and, you know, take moments as well to sit down and just have a look and just reflect. And it was a really nice day. As you can see, it was quite cloudy and sunny. And I really just enjoyed walking around and, you know, kind of taking selfies, taking videos and then sitting down, people watching. And then at the kind of end of it, and that's the five rings, and then at the end, I kind of went down to the bottom and then I saw that there was this tunnel. And so I decided to explore it because I saw somebody going into it and I was like, I wonder what's down there. And to my surprise, there was a lovely little museum there, uh, which kind of shows you all the Olympic torches and also like posters as well from previous Olympics. And there's a gift shop as well. So you can actually buy some of the posters. And this is just such a lovely way to kind of end the visit but if you are going to Athens I would add this to your itinerary it's a really nice place to visit and well worth seeing and as I said like you know the museum at the end is it's included in the admission price so if you get the chance please do go